Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marco of Living Streams International, bringing you Matters of Faith in Graphic Online. And this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words, child time space content. You remember uh, yesterday we were talking about child time space, but this time we're talking about child time space content. Now, I'm really still on, on Luke chapter one, the Bible says the young child grew, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm like, wow. But he just, and he grew with time. But he just didn't grow in, 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 in limbo. He didn't just grow for the sake of growth. The Bible even began to give certain criteria or certain characteristics of his growth. And I'm, I'm going to read out some of those characteristics for you. And this is how we should allow our children to grow. These are the pathways in which we should allow our children to grow. Look at what he said. He said, first of all, in Luke chapter 1, verse 80, he said, he grew strong in spirit. Strong in spirit, that is the God factor. He grew strong. In, the, in fact, the, 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 the Greek word that was used, you know, it means he was empowered by God. He grew in the knowledge. He grew in the power of God. His, his feet were glued in God. He grew with the basis. His foundation was God. That's what the Bible says. So let the, you know, the foundation of the child be God. Introduce the God factor in your child very early. That's what the Bible says. So he grew strong in the spirit. And then uh, that means that there was, there was character. The, he began to imbibe into, in the, the child began to imbibe the godly character, the character of God. Then the second distinct was, the Bible says he was in the desert, you know, and he was in the desert. Sometimes there is a need to isolate the, the desert is a place where the people are not there. There's a need to isolate your children from certain spheres of influences by people. Sometimes we need to isolate them. We need to isolate the kids from the dangerous currents of evil around them. Social media foolishness. Sometimes we need to isolate them from it. We need to cut them away from it. We need to let them know this is no go, is a no-go area. Where all sorts of things are being pushed into them. He grew strong in godly character, but there was also isolation. And that means there are places, don't take your children. There are things, don't allow your children to get involved in. And in these days where all sorts of things are being taught, including Satanism, and cults are being introduced, and children are being introduced to all manner of, of, of uh, thought patterns. Sometimes it is good we, we shield them from some of this thing. Yes, talk to them about it, but shield them. The young child grew in spirit and was in the desert. He was isolated from certain social things that might pull him into things that he need not be. Protect your child. Protect them. It's very, very important. See you later.